Kyderpulse, trusted Hemcon patch technology, combined with unique compression band for radial closure. Cleared for patients on anticoagulants. It provides antibacterial barrier protection and requires less pressure and hold times compared to other leading brands. After catheterization, withdraw the introducer sheath two to three centimeters. Place the band on the wrist with the flexible position on the thumb side of the patient's arm. Position the dot indicator two to three millimeters proximal to the puncture site. Charge the syringe with an appropriate volume of air, typically close to seven milliliters. Connect the socket end of the syringe to the plug end of the air valve with a gentle 180 degree clockwise rotation of the syringe. Gradually depress the syringe barrel to transfer the air from the syringe through the valve airline to the compression balloon. The normal transfer volume range is six to eight milliliters. The initial volume transfer should be no more than 10 milliliters. Once all the air has been transferred from the syringe to the balloon, while continuing to maintain pressure against the syringe barrel, gently twist the barrel of the syringe anti-clockwise while holding the air valve steady and withdraw the socket end of the syringe from the plug end of the valve. The air valve will close to maintain the air pressure in the balloon. Remove the introducer sheath. Confirm patent hemostasis is achieved. If bleeding is observed around the edge of the patch, reconnect an air charge syringe to the air valve and add more air to the balloon in two milliliter volume addition steps until bleeding stops. Total addition of air to the balloon should not exceed 15 milliliters. At the targeted device removal time, use the air syringe to gradually remove air from the balloon in two milliliter volume removal steps. If bleeding is observed, stop the volume removal and add back two milliliters of air volume in a stepwise fashion into the balloon to restore hemostasis. Once the balloon is deflated and hemostasis is achieved, unfasten the kiter pulse. Hold down the clear release tab with indicator symbols attached to the patch and slowly remove the band, keeping the patch on the patient. Apply a securement dressing to secure the Hemcon patch in place. The Hemcon patch is recommended to remain secured in place for an additional 24 hours protecting the wound. The secured in place Hemcon patch guards against chance of rebleeding, anderesis, and provides antibacterial protection. To remove the patch and securement dressing at 24 hours, apply running warm water over the dressings. With water running, gradually peel the securement dressing away from the arm and wrist. Under the running water, the patch can then be readily eased away from the underlying wound, leaving the scab in place.